anyways like how about your day tell me anushka well my day has been super productive as well like woke up on time exercise and everything done then oh, got on to my sessions and have been doing that uh, since then having a great time okay yes you are completely audible yeah. well hi good afternoon i'm anushka and i'll be your speaker for today how are you i'm good i'm fabulous how about you well i'm fine thank you so much for asking how has yeah. your day been so far um it's really hectic i guess because uh, today is a tedious day so a lot of house household chores and taking after my child i mean taking care of her so it's a pretty hectic day yeah we can also say that it was quite productive since you're getting all the work done and that's amazing yeah i think being a woman it's the responsibility to take care of everything anyways like how about your day tell me anushka well my day has been super productive as well like woke up on time exercise and everything done then oh, got on to my sessions and have been doing that uh, since then having a great time okay so yeah. so you like working out every day is like yes, your daily I, routine yes it is that's really good <laughs> yeah it has become it was not like that forever but uh, since the pandemic started first uh, in 2020 i okay. for once in life decided that okay let's try working out because i could never maintain it and then i started it and i couldn't stop since then so it's been a it's a very it's very really good it's something like a pandemic resolution that you've yeah. made yeah good. and it did work out and it did pay off in a very good way like i lost oh. lot of weight and uh, all the unhealthy food i put there got really obviously fit. being fit will make you confident not yeah. from outside but from, but from inside as well absolutely i so agree with it like you put it so well it does make you feel confident it kind of aligns you in a better way so it's not just working out the body but it also helps in order to structure your mind or your thought process as well and yeah, that is something true. that i have noticed well what about you how was your lockdown for like everything uh, going on i really enjoyed a lot with my family so it was really like my family time i could say and uh, i could never bring back those days again seriously so Absolutely. it's really good awesome i had a splendid time with my family together knowing about each other about uh, everyone not only my family but all also the relatives as well so it's really good hanging out with them yeah because i don't think that i hope that we don't get uh, this amount of time ever again in like at least our lifetime because <laughs> another pandemic is something we would not be looking forward to but the not time not pandemic was... but uh, i'm expecting might be a lockdown <laughs> <laughs> yes like till the pandemic is like finally over because the lockdown is like till on and off we are done with the second wave uh, but like we are in that waiting period the way we were uh last uh, december to february those were three months we are one month down two more months to go then to realize whether the third wave would be there or it would have, we can declare that the pandemic no, no, is over people there are many researchers and everyone predicting that it come mm-hmm. earlier but soon than i expected so hope so everything is good mm-hmm. fingers crossed but uh, we can't expect anything right so it's all uh, all of a sudden it happens so we can't expect all it's yeah. not in our hands anymore just to worry about just i feel like we need to be happy all the time <laughs> whatever it is as you said like you like to be fitter and you like to do uh, you know your uh, exercises and maintaining your classes managing them so it's it's good that routine is good so what you have done for your uh, spoken english to improve it well in order uh, well i have not done much uh, my parents have in a way because when i was younger uh, right from let's say when i was like 3 years old they used to have a uh, conversations with me in english knowing that i might not understand all of it but like when you teach a child any language it was same for me uh, in terms of english and then uh, even my schooling helped a lot like right oh. from kg1 kg2 uh, it being a convent school and it it's very very strict rules about spoken english all our teachers uh, would communicate with each other and us in english we were supposed to speak in english even though broken initially in order to ask or tell anything to the teacher in front of a class That's of like 50 students so that kind yeah, of molded 
yeah so that molded me completely like right from the childhood and that's why i didn't have to work much just along the age and along the time i tried to acquire and fill up my vocabulary vocabulary bag as i would like to say and then keep experimenting keep uh, speaking in public uh, events like be it college be it school wherever i can so that i get rid of the hesitation which also took place like in school we were supposed to perform in front of the school and say uh, uh we had press service and everything so that helped so i didn't have to work much it just happened for me and i'm quite grateful <laughs> for that really really so some people are fortunate enough to get the opportunity and all but some not some i think there are many people who are not fortunate enough to get that so really it's a difficult time for everyone you know who are struggling who are uh, willing to improve who attends this class obviously whether it's clapping over this camble they really want to improve their english no matter what it is whether it's the uh, the pronunciation for the accent or whatever it is whether it's just for sentence formation or the sentence structure there are multiple things that you need to focus on and so what you do usually like do you read any books or do you plan uh, watching any videos so what do you do apart from this so still you work on your english pronunciation or not indian or you just okay with now what you have with well what i do currently if i have to say like about the educational background and stuff like i just completed my btech in 2021 a couple of weeks ago i can say uh-huh. finally and okay. uh, in order to be able to provide better for the learners who interact with me i keep on updating myself let's say vocabulary and i approach learning english or increasing my vocabulary is completely different than the way they approach so okay. i try to understand how they might approach it uh, like understanding completely but not being able to speak that is something is a major issue that i have uh, realized that most of the yeah. learners have so how will they yeah. i keep asking myself how i can um, be better at it and also like uh, bring up new and simple words for, for them so that they can add up to their vocabulary then give them like simple exercises which they can okay. do which would like hardly take 5 to 7 minutes daily and just like okay. mental exercises so okay. that over time even if they're not having the session or if they don't have time to practice with anyone yeah. by doing these exercises even in your mind daily we can keep increasing our vocabulary we can keep building uh, and strengthening our grammar so that we can have better sentence construction So, so that is uh, what everything sometimes goes. people find it difficult to maybe catch your pace because uh, as a teacher or someone like a speaker like we are mm-hmm. teaching someone i think or oh, we have to be a bit slower than our pace like absolutely make them understand like what we are saying of course uh, i'm not not for you like i've seen some other speakers as well not only like here in cambria as well so for basic level learner or maybe Uh, even lower than that they find it really difficult to understand to sit in the class as well to find it really comfortable while they're mm-hmm. speaking so or even if the speaker is you know saying something i don't think they might even catch a word from mm-hmm. it so absolutely that is that one of the really things. important that uh, we need to make them understand and feel comfortable first like what they are like you need to obviously Uh, allow them to talk i think because uh, that's what uh, generally a trainer uh, should have because obviously uh, this is just a suggestion don't be bad okay no so, no absolutely yeah. i understand so being being an experienced trainer so mm-hmm. <laughs> and just suggesting because yeah. you're still you know you're still at a level you're growing right so yeah just like, like the pace time. changes with like every single uh, learner that we come across now since we have yeah. gotten comfortable i can see that you are better at english so i would like to like since like you are an experienced trainer but like we have a speaker learner uh, a relation here so it de- depends on particular speaker so my pace or like the speaker's pace it completely changes with the learner no two learners okay. are same and we understand that completely so if someone is finding it difficult the words that are used are absolutely normal no phrasal yeah, um, verbs true. are used so that they understand it obviously but if someone is already let's say on level 5 and they want to reach level 7 we yeah. have to be on level 7 and get them on that so it and completely changes yeah. with every uh, that's really true because according yeah. to the person you need to start speaking absolutely. as 
you know, according to their faith, according to mm -hmm. their level, for sure. I give it that. 